Okay, so I'm going to show you a few uh, or four um, apps, uh, mobile apps uh, uh, to streamline or to stream the sonar images on your fish finder to your iPhone or smart device. Um, so here we go. So this is the table I, um, I uh, produced when I was uh, doing my research. And the first one is Whitefish, second one is uh, Ray Control, and the third one is Ray Remote, the fourth one is Ray View. And these are all Ray, uh, developed by Ray Marine, and these are apps um, can uh, control and stream whatever is displaying on the sonar image to your um, iPhone and yeah, live, live view. So um, they are available either on um, iTunes App Store or the Google Play or the Amazon.com. I didn't know they um, are available on Amazon.com, but anyway, they are. And don't be scared, they're actually free, so there's no cost to download these uh, apps. And the um, I'm just going to go over the, the first one is Whitefish, which is iPhone, and uh, I have iPhone, that's why I'm doing iPhone, but uh, it's it's iOS operating system. Um, it's also available for the Android or the Google phone operating system or any other um, phone that use the Android operating system. The Ray Control is only available for iPad. Ray Remote is for both iPhone iPad. Ray, same thing with Rayview. As um, their names, um, White they what what does it do i mean the whitefish app can uh, virtually remote um, control the fish finder uh, whitefish sonar or the dragonfly four inches or five inches or seven inches pro series uh, these are the second generation of dragonfly um, the one i have is dragonfly seven inches the first generation so is it's not wi-fi enabled so this Whitefish app does not apply to um, that first generation Fish Finder. But anyway, it does. It can pause uh, the display from your iPhone. It can zoom into the um, uh, sonar images from your iPhone. You, you can smartphone. And you can also rewind. You can also view. And the rate control is uh, from iPad. It virtually remote. Uh, there is a keypad uh, that you can control the display. Uh, the Wi-Fi enabled E series, basically the you know C series, ES and Axiom. You know there are these these multifunction display. They are either uh, seven inches or nine inches or twelve inches or sixteen inches, and um, basically you know Ray control can control those uh, remotely uh, using Wi-Fi, and the iPhone um, is. Um, the rate remote is it, it does the same thing. You can view, you can control uh, the all these um, multifunction display. The last one is ray view, as the name um, indicated that uh, you can only view what's on the uh, display, the sonar display. So there, there. Um, only three steps to get them you just download from the store you know the stores I mentioned up here and then uh, second thing is you go to your iPhone or iPad the settings um, of your phone and then you just enable uh, the Wi-Fi in your phone and then you will be able to select um, the multifunction displays names of Wi-Fi once it's connected uh, you get out of the settings in your iPhone you go uh, to your app uh, you know, screen, and then you find the Raymarine app, uh, the appropriate app, uh, app, and then you launch it. You can see image, and then uh, the app is gonna find the appropriate uh, multifunction display, and then uh, and then uh, display the sonar images and uh, whatever is playing on on the sonar. You will be able to see it live. Okay, so if you have you know Dragonfly or or, or what or, or what is it Whitefish sonar? Of course, you need the Whitefish app in order to you know stream the sonar images to your um, iPhone and uh, control uh, the sonar. If you um, have others um, uh, like Axiom nine inches that I have, then you need to uh, download the rate remote. Um, you don't really need the rate view or the rate control. Um, I don't. I don't think. Uh, but um, you know, as I uh, you know learn to use these, I'll be able to uh, tell you more. But uh, also subscribe to uh, future videos and thank you for uh, watching and thank you for listening.